All right. Now, I'm kind of wrapping up here, because I know we want to get you home by midnight. Uh, there is a uh, reason, I guess, that I'm 10 years out of retirement from surgery, and I'm still more passionate than ever about <laughs> Are you on the payroll? <laughs> I'm uh, still more passionate than ever about what I call the, the cusp. We're on the cusp of truly what could be a seismic revolution in health and in medicine. And this seismic revolution in health, despite all the marvelous new technology that we keep inventing every day, is not going to come from that. There's a certain dignity of simplicity in understanding the body enough now that we can share with you the fact that 80 to 85 percent of these common chronic killing diseases are food. You don't have to have it. Because and it, it affects absolutely every one of you and your family. Uh, so the reason uh, that I, I, I guess I'm so excited about it is we've finally seen that there are some elements of the medicine that are coming on board with this and are embracing this. And it's going to get to the point where it'll be embarrassing for physicians not to be able to offer this. But part of the problem, quite frankly, is physicians do like to be rewarded for the work they're doing. And down in the States, for instance, there's not one penny you get from insurance for what I've uh, been sharing with you. And it's unfair to ask the patients to handle all that. Here's some of the other diseases that get. This is a friend of mine, a physician down in the, the Worcester branch of uh, Cleveland Clinic, Dave Schumann. Here is his patient with diabetes. John that gets him to start eating plant-based immediately his blood sugars come down to this gray zone which is much more acceptable. I talked with Dave the other day, he said, listen, I got to get you a new slide. Uh, this fellow no longer has diabetes. Here's another one of his patients. This woman has osteoporosis. She is eating so much meat and dairy. Her urinary calcium should be here in the blue. Here she is way up here, peeing away her bones. And yet as soon as Dave gets her to finally go plant-based, Immediately, her urinary calcium comes back to the normal range here. It's terribly exciting that no medication with it there, just changing your diet. Now, you know why this is here? <laughs> <laughs> that is Joe, Joe Rolino. I use Joe Rolino for two reasons. One is so that if we do get to the question period after Ann has her presentation to you, nobody even dream about asking you about getting your protein. You, have you, has anybody here ever seen a person in Sydney, Halifax, Labrador, New Brunswick, Ottawa, whoever went to the emergency room saying, my God, help me out, I'm protein deficient. <laughs> it's not going to happen. This is Joe Rolino. He and his mom came from the old country. Fully plant-based. 1921, champion, strong man, 5'7", 168 pounds, uh, 20 on, 635 pounds with one finger. Put a spike in his teeth, <laughs> it bent it. Now here is Joe Berlino when he was 103. <laughs> this is uh, no eyeglasses, no hearing aid, no cane. In summary, in summary, let me just say that uh, it's my feeling that cardiovascular disease, the way it's being handled today, cardiovascular medicine in its present form cannot cure patients. It will never end the epidemic, and it is absolutely financially unsustainable. Number two, it is totally a mistaken belief that patients won't adopt this lifestyle change. Patients absolutely would rejoice when they're given a full understanding of what is their power to eliminate this disease. Number three, I don't wonder if it's not a little bit unfair on my part to ask cardiovascular medicine to shoulder the burden of this responsibility. They're very busy. Not everybody has the passion for this. And the truth be known, they've had no training and don't have the skill set for this. So we want to work 
those of us in lifestyle medicine, we want to work synergistically in the spirit of cooperative endeavor with these physicians to help their patients to make this transition in this particular dimension of care. And finally, in my opinion, it is absolutely unconscionable not to mention this option to patients. Thank you.